All right, guys, it's Pastor Tim here. It's that time of night, seven on the seven. We're so excited to join with you every night through this crisis, through this trial, to share seven minutes of God's word and encouragement. Of course, we want to pray with you at the end of our time together today. And I'm back with Pastor Alex. We're excited that he's back with us tonight as God is uh, moving through the discipleship ministry, even in a time when they can't meet together personally, they're still meeting personally uh, over social media platforms. And so I've asked for Alex to come tonight and share those seven minutes of encouragement in the Word. Pastor Alex, thanks for being with us. Yeah, and absolutely. share the Word with us today. Encourage absolutely. us today. How are you holding up? I'm doing great. We're doing good. We're trusting God. We remember that we're not built on the shaky foundation of the world, but we're built on the foundation of Jesus Christ. I saw it rock, and so I'm just glad to be here to share encouragement out of the Word of God. And so, Pastor Tim, I want to share out of Psalm 93 today and share some of the Psalms because I think during our times of crisis, pain, suffering, the Psalms bring so much encouragement. They're honest, they bring questions to God, and then in the end, you see how God's faithfulness comes through in time of suffering crisis. So I want to read Psalm 93, and then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about it and what God's putting on my heart to help you through this time. And it says, The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. Indeed, the world is established firm and secure. Your throne was established long ago. You are from all eternity. The seas have lifted up their voice to the Lord. The seas have lifted up their voice. The seas have lifted up their pounding waves. Mightier than thunder of the great waters, mightier than the breaks of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. Your statues, Lord, stand firm. Holiness adorns your house and for endless days. Um, in, 70, in 1793, the yellow fever broke out in Philadelphia. It was an epidemic, and it took the lives of about 5,000 American colonists. But at that time, something else that God was doing, I want you to remember this, that God had something called the Second Great Awakening, and he called men like Charles Finney and other great men of God, and they preached the Word of God, and revival broke out in America. Amen. And so even though the yellow fever took 5,000, Christ claimed even thousands more. And I want to give you hope in this time because in times of crisis, whether it's a world war, whether it's a Great Depression, whether it's 9-11 or whether it's this coronavirus, God has a way of moving and showing his power right. in so many different ways. And usually during these times of crisis, is when revival breaks out in countries and lands in America. And one thing I just wanted to touch on is this part, is when the seas lifted up their voice, when the seas were pounding, when the waves were pounding, their chaos and their confusion, God's voice spoke louder. And that's what I want to encourage you today, is that God's voice will speak louder. So don't Spread fear of the sickness. Spread faith in the Savior. Don't focus on the crisis. Focus on Christ. Remember, He's your foundation. And he's going to pull you through this. And God's voice is louder. And the greatest thing that I love about this is that the Lord is still on His throne. He's still established. He's still in control. He's still in command. He's still good. He's still faithful. And His promises still endure. And so we can trust Him because God is on the throne. And I just want to leave you with one last verse of scripture from Psalm 18 too. And I want you to remember this. I want you to take this in. I want you to consider this and build your life upon this verse right here. And it's Psalm 18 too. And it says, Pastor Tim, that the Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. And that's who we build our life on, is the rock of Christ Jesus. So, Pastor Alex, on Sunday, as we joined everybody uh, online, and please, this Sunday at 9, 11 a.m., tune in. Um, you can get us on Facebook Live. You can get on uh, YouTube. You can get on live stream, all those things. Um, we saw uh, thousands of people that came and joined with us. We talked about the K in know, knowing God and God knowing right. us. Part of that we said keeps his promises. He keeps Absolutely. his promises. As we keep the faith, he keeps his promises. And I love that you shared that today. And also what you shared about that God can use a time of great challenge, a time 
of great hurt, of, of even loss of life, as you right. share, which we don't want anybody no. uh, to pass away, no. especially if they don't know the Lord. We don't want anybody uh, to, to lose their life. But I saw last night that in the Philippines, they're calling for a yes. day of prayer and fasting. Right. I think it's March the 30th. Mm -hmm. And then that's starting to spread all over the world that people are going to pray and fast on March the 30th. I believe right. we're starting to see uh, the beginning early birth pains and contractions of a great revival sure, of what absolutely. God is going to do. Absolutely. So we're going to pray as we close out our time together. I'm going to ask you to pray. Okay. We're going to pray. We want to stretch out our hand. If you're there, you can touch us right now where we're at at 7 on the 7th. We're going to pray for revival. We're going to pray for you. We know you're struggling and challenging. And so we're praying for your health and your finances and your emotional well-being. And uh, we want to do that tonight as we leave you with this time of encouragement. Listen, God loves you. God has a plan. I haven't heard a lot of people questioning God and all this. I've heard a lot of people questioning their relationship with God. And we need to run to him. Will you pray with us as Pastor Alex leads us tonight? Yes. Father God, you are still on the throne and you are still in charge. Yes, and Lord, this, this virus did not even surprise you. God, you have the plan and you have the answer of salvation. And God, let us Fix our eyes on you. Yes. Let us stand on your word, which is the rock that we build our lives on, the teachings of Jesus Christ. And God, let your spirit flow through each nation and bring a fire, spread a fire of your revival to reignite the hearts of people to realize, look, our trust isn't in the economies of the world. Our trust is in Jesus Christ, and he is our yes. only hope mm. in salvation. Amen. And so we're going to trust you. We're going to believe you. And we believe, God, that your church is going to come out stronger because of this. And be with every heart and bring peace, the peace that passes all understanding, the peace that guards our heart and mind during this whole time. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, what an honor and privilege it has been to come into your home tonight. Yes. Listen, we love you. We are looking out for you. We're going to have a party when we a Holy Ghost party when we get back yes. together. More importantly than all that, God loves you. Cry out to him in this time. He will hear your voice and he will love you and he will rush in in a fresh way. Thanks for joining us for 7 on the 7. God bless you.